Okay, so our uh, lesson is uh, about uh, application of uh, first order differential equations. So we are done with uh, eight methods of solving uh, uh, first order differential equation. Now we are to apply or yung applications ng first order kung bakit natin uh, inaral yung mga solutions or yung mga methods of solving first order differential equation. So here are mga uh, practical applications ng first order differential equation. So we have five subtopics here. We have growth and decay, Newton's law of cooling, mixing problems, orthogonal trajectories, and transient circuits. So, um, magsisimula muna tayo sa growth and decay. Sa growth and decay, so, um, states, uh, sa growth and decay, meron tayong tinatawag na exponential growth law, which states that the rate of change of a quantity or amount is proportional to the present amount. So, as you can see, um, Mathematically, sabi dyan, the rate at which, di ba, when we talk of change, we talk of derivative. So, let Q be the quantity. So, the rate at which the quantity is changing is proportional to the amount present. So, to the present amount Q. So, um, sa advanced algebra, we have learned na para matanggal yung proportionality symbol, we are to equate, that's dQ dt, so, i-equate natin siya sa, sa proportionality constant multiplied by Q. So, then, sa mga methods of first order, so since this is a differential equation, first order DE, this is co uh, proportionality constant. So, this is therefore a constant and meron ako rito Q. So, sa, sa methods of solving first order DE, we have learned yung first method which is the variable separable. So, we can separate the variable by dividing both sides by Q and multiplying by DT. So, that gives you DQ over Q is equal to k dt. So, dividing by q and multiplying both sides by dt. So, since the variables has been separated, we can now integrate both sides. So, integrating this two, so that gives you ln of q. So, integral of dq over q is ln of q is equal to kt plus c. So, this since um, kt plus c yan, so, pwede natin eliminate ang ang Q by raising both sides sa E. So, i-raise natin o gagawin natin exponent siya ng E. So, there's a property in logarithm that E raised to ln of Q is Q. So, E raised to ln of something is something. So, E raised to ln Q is Q. That gives you E raised to KT plus E raised to C is also equal to E to the C. So, di ba, when you are multiplying of same base, you are adding exponents. So, e to the kt times e to the c is equal to e to the kt plus c. But e is a constant. So, remember, it's 2.7182118. So, if that's a constant raised to a constant, it will always be a constant. So, this therefore is a constant c. So, we can replace c by q sub o. So, therefore... Our working equation Q is equal to QO e raised to KT, for which C is Q sub O. So, this will be our working equation sa growth and decay. So, since this is exponential growth, so exponential, notice na kapag ka ang K is uh, positive, if K is greater than 0, of course, meron tayong grow, growth. So, syempre, exponential tayo. So, e to the 0 muna is 1. Tapos, e to the 1 times something is, if it's positive, so it grows. Kapag ka naman k is, zeros, eh, k is less than 0, dun tayo magkakaroon ng uh, decay. So, kasi nga, e to the 0, papaganon siya. So, ang graph niya, papaganon. So, it decays. So, Magdidecay tayo kapag ka ang k mo is less than 0 and k greater than 0, magkakaroon tayo ng growth.